Welcome to Cooking with Glenn and Katie. Today, I'm gonna to be making some broccoli and cauliflower salad. I have some friends coming over to play some pickleball, and we're gonna have a cookout, and this dish will go with it very well. So, let's get started. It's time to put all the ingredients together. I've got everything chopped up and prepared properly. And so now all it is is to dump it together and mix it well. So uh, to begin with, I have some broccoli and the broccoli I cut up is four cups of broccoli. So I'm gonna put that in here. And then I've also cut up four cups of cauliflower. Notice each one of these just cutting small bite-sized pieces or smaller. You don't want anything big. Now I'm gonna put a couple more ingredients in here before I start mixing it up. I just made this mayonnaise probably 30 minutes ago uh, before the show. Uh, I always make fresh mayonnaise if you need to know how to do it. I'll have a link to the video in the description box below. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. Then I have some sour cream. So I'll put sour cream in here. In addition to the cup of mayonnaise, I also put a cup of sour cream and I put a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. Now I'm gonna mix all this together to coat the cauliflower and the broccoli. I like to coat it this really well with the broccoli and cauliflower before I add the other ingredients. I'm going to add a cup of onions. These are chopped onions. Now I've got a cup of bacon bits. And finally, for a nice crunch, I have some English walnuts. You can use pecans or whatever nut, kind of nuts you want, uh, but these English walnuts are what I'm using today. So a cup of these. Is a rough cut, rough chopped. Uh, you want some pieces that people can really taste. You don't want to be too fine. And now I'm gonna mix everything together. And once everything's mixed together, this is finished. Now you want to taste it, and you may want to add a little bit of salt and pepper. But it should be pretty much ready to enjoy. Have everything mixed together, and I'm gonna pour it in the bowl. Be serving it in. Now I like to get all the goodie out of the, the, the container I'm uh, preparing it in. So I found if I get, this, this is just a scraper. If I go around the sides here, like this, I can get all the goodie from the sides, and I can do the same thing on the bottom. And now I got most of the goodie out of here, which I like. So it's an easy way to clean your bowl when you're trying to, to put everything together in another bowl. So all I have to do now is mix it a little bit. So there you have it. Now it's time to try it. Here we go. Get some broccoli and I got some, uh, some bacon. Mm. 
Now that is very good. One reason I had I broke the cauliflower and the broccoli into small pieces is so that you just don't get one big piece of broccoli or one big piece of cauliflower, but you get a lot of things, the nuts and the, uh, the bacon and the cauliflower and the, the broccoli all together. It's very, very good. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. I'd like for you to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Click the notification buttons and we'll notify you when we have a new video coming out. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you later. See ya.